Good morning guys and welcome back to World of Tanks. It's Jaeger262 with another black market video and this is day 5 of the 7 day event. And once again we have out of order one of the vehicles that showed up on the list so I'm pretty sure there won't be any surprises going forward. The only thing surprising about this one is that it is being sold for 5,500 gold. And for a tier 5 premium tank that seems a little steep to me and I know these are special it just seems a little high so that's why it's not selling as fast as you can see there's still over 4500 left well I shouldn't say over now there's exactly 4500 left but it is a unique vehicle this reminded me of another I believe it was a tier 5 or tier 7 premium tank from when the game first started uh, it was given to alpha testers which was a panther hull with a panzer IV turret on it. This appears to be that vehicle, but it's actually not. The panzer V slash four, it's a different tank entirely. It's at tier five and it's a medium vehicle based on a VK3002 hull or the prototype panther. And for tier five, it's all right. It's nothing too special. It does the same damage any Panzer IV with the 75mm gun does, giving it a total damage of 1800 per minute, sorry, DPM of 1800. It does 110 average, 16 rounds a minute, which means it's only it's firing up almost 4 seconds, every 4 seconds. Um, negative 10 depression, which is pretty good. Aim time, 1.9. Dispersion 0 0.35. So, see, nothing really special. It's going to be the same Panzer IV you're used to, which is exactly what the Hydrostat is that I got yesterday. This time, it's just a matter of the hull. Now, it is only going to get 85 millimeters of protection on the hull at tier 5, which isn't a lot, but remember, it is the prototype Panther hull, so this angle increases your survivability. And so, think of it as not only a very unique and novelty vehicle which is what all these vehicles are almost like the well not like the Duster that one was the best I still can't believe I didn't get that but like the Hydrostat play wise it'll be in up armored Panzer IV and you'll just have increased survivability over the normal one uh, top speed 55 reverse 20 traverse 39 so it might actually be more mobile than a Panzer IV because it does have a tier 7 engine which is why I looked at those stats it might actually be a faster more mobile and definitely heavily armored Panzer IV so or another vehicle to compare this to excuse me is the Panzer IV III which is another kind of weird medium tank think of this as the bigger faster up armored version of that at the same tier so if that sounds interesting to you I would pick up this vehicle again 5500 gold is a bit expensive for tier 5 medium tank especially one that's getting all of its value just from the collection side just from the novelty of having one because if it fits right into tier 5 and fits right into any German medium tank it has a crew of five, so you can do your Panzer IV or the Panzer IV slash three crew training in this, or any other German medium tank, really. But it's essentially just going to play like one of those vehicles. It'll be faster than both, and depending on how you angle your armor against the enemy, so you know you can easily side scrape, or if you're going up against because you're at tier five, tier four or lower this angle at 85 millimeters will protect you from pretty much every, anything as long as you keep your gun down using that amazing 10 degrees of gun depression you should be able to protect the cheeks here and everything will just bounce up and out and essentially that's it that's the only thing that makes this tank very special is that sloped armor on the hull which will allow you to engage longer and harder because it's protected but everything else is Okay. Don't know what that was, but everything else is essentially just going to be a Panzer IV. There's still a couple left. 
Um, I mean, I'm personally I'm gonna pass on this one because I did get the Hydra stat yesterday, so I already have my cool Panzer IV. Um, the difference between and the reason this one's being sold for gold is that the Hydra stat was completely rare. Again, one of those original three tanks. It's a part of World of Tanks history. I mean, all these vehicles are obviously, but that one's just very special to me. It has no real special characteristics to it except for mobility but this vehicle again the armor is the big selling point so if you want this vehicle I encourage you to buy it if you already have it let me know in the comment section below if it's actually really worth a price tag this high if you're one of the people who do buy it let me know how it plays let me know if it's better or worse than the Panzer IV or any other premium medium tanks you have and what you think of it personally I don't need another premium Panzer IV so I'm just going to pass but it is an interesting vehicle and it is going to be heavily armored and have you know incredibly mobile so if you like fast hard-hitting medium tanks and you're already comfortable with the Panzer IV turret and gun and how that operates I highly recommend you get this gun it's pretty interesting yeah, and that's, I'm reading this blurb right now, and that's pretty much all it says, is it boasts the panther's hull, so you can literally smash your foes with it, and the gun is not bad at all. It's a good vehicle. So essentially, it makes it sound like it's good at ramming, which it probably is, especially at tier 4, because this hull will be able to literally crush anything in its path if you want it to ram something. I don't know why you would want to do that, but if you're... A very aggressive player and you like medium tanks buy this vehicle you will not only be able to I guess ram people really good which is always fun but that hull is going to protect you from almost everything you'll ever come up against so it's a pretty strong vehicle if you like Panzer fours but you always thought that they didn't have enough armor to do a more aggressive play style this one does 5500 gold is too much for me I don't know if it's actually worth that much but again, if you're into it, buy it and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I will be making another black market video later today at 8 p.m. just like I've been doing all the other days. And hopefully we'll see one of the bigger vehicles come out. So either one of the B tanks or black tanks or hopefully what I'm really hoping to see is the Folk 155. That's the big, that's the next big one or probably the last big one for the event for me. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate the support and it goes a long way to helping the channel. Subscribe if you want any notifications on the next few block market videos I'm going to do. Or if you want to be notified anytime I do a review of the vehicles that I got during this event. And I will be doing separate reviews for all of them depending on how many I buy. And as always, thank you so much for engaging. Thank you for watching, participating. And ultimately just making it a joy to do these videos and making this event really great so as always thank you thank you thank you and I will see you next time